Chapter 3083 Stopping Pain Stop. Why argue with the dog? Long Chen grabbed Bei Shishi. If they fought here, they would be immediately expelled. Right now, the entire convention was being managed by the Huaian Trading Company. They would strictly enforce the rules to be fair. This young master Wuji had clearly come just to cause trouble. Who knew whether he was intentionally trying to bait Bei Shishi into attacking to expel her? Who are you calling a dog? Demanded one of the women beside young master Wuji. A dog surrounded by bitches in heat. Are you going to do the deed right here for everyone to see? Sneered Lu Mingxuan. Those women were all infuriated. But on the other hand, young master Wuji simply smiled and indifferently said. A hairless boy and little girls don't know anything about the joy between people. You're simply envious of this young master. Haha. <laughs> young master. My elbow hurts. Said one of his women fawningly. Young master Wuji kissed her elbow. Does it still hurt? It doesn't hurt. Aya. My neck hurts. Young master kissed her again. Does it still hurt? No. The woman smiled her voice so limp that it caused other people's goosebumps to rise. As she said this, she looked at Bei Shishi and the others. Seeing Bei Shishi's furious gaze made her even more pleased with herself. Clearly, they had come knowing Bei Shishi's character and were intent on infuriating her. If she did lose control, she would lose her qualifications to attend the competition. Long Chen stared in shock at young master Wuji. Brother you really are a god. You can stop pain with just a kiss? Can I ask, does this work with hemorrhoids? Bei Shishi's rising fury popped with a laugh. Luo Bing and the others also laughed. Only Long Chen didn't laugh. Instead maintaining his expression of shock and awe, he seemed intent on seeking medical treatment. Young Master Wuji's expression finally sank. Clearly. He was not completely impervious to provocation. The main point was whether or not you could find a place to strike where it hurt. Who do you think you are? What qualifications do you have to speak to this young master? Sneered young master Wuji. Who do you think you are? What qualifications do you have to speak to this champion? Demanded Long Chen disdainfully. Ha ha ha. Lu Mingxuan laughed. Intentionally loud just for Long Chen's act. Bei Ziaol interjected, exactly, some dog shit young master that crawled out of some hole dares to challenge the champion of the Dao discussion convention, I don't know who gave you that courage. Bei Ziaol had been angered the entire time but had never found a chance to counterattack, but as soon as Long Chen mentioned that he was the champion, he found a chance to retaliate. Long Chen was the champion of the Dao discussion convention. That glory couldn't be forgotten. Exactly. Other than pissing yourself. How are you better than senior apprentice brother Long Chen? Sneered one of the Battle God Palace's disciples Novaloon.com. You can't put it like that. Young Master Wuji has his own specialties. At the very least. In terms of healing hemorrhoids. No one else can beat him. Even the ever silent young Master Chang Chuan joined in. This surprised everyone. They hadn't expected him to be able to say such words. So they laughed. You, young master Wuji was infuriated. However, it was clear that he felt some fear when it came to young master Chang Chuan. He hesitated. But in the end, he forcibly swallowed his words. While he didn't dare to say anything, the women beside him cursed them like vixens on the street. However, their cursing was clearly a sign of weakness, and it didn't draw anyone's anger. Long Chen and the others looked at them like kings watching a performance. Young Master Wuji then looked at Long Chen. It seemed that he wanted to say something, but he couldn't find any good words. In the end, all he said was, Long Chen, there are many people who want your life here. I pray that you don't die too soon, because I want to personally kill you. No need to be courteous. I don't need other people to pray for me. But as for you, it seems that you've drawn in too much yin qi. I pray that you live a long life of a hundred years, said Long Chen indifferently. Outside the cultivation world, in the mortal world, 
Such a saying was a blessing, but in the cultivation world, it was clearly cursing someone to die soon because a hundred years was nothing to a cultivator. In the immortal world, if they weren't killed or didn't meet some calamity, people would live thousands of years as long as their cultivation base was high enough. Thus, in the immortal world, there was no such thing as a long life of a hundred years. If they only lived to a hundred, how could it count as a long life? So this novel phrase drew out Lu Mingxuan and the others' laughter. We'll see. Hopefully, your abilities with your hands can match the power of your mouth, sneered young master Wuji. He didn't bother to conceal his killing intent. He, Long Chen doesn't like men, so you won't get to experience it. Lu Mingxuan wrapped her arms around Long Chen and giggled. Long Chen almost throttled her. This seemingly pretty girl was so dirty that it had reached the realm of making ghosts cry and gods weep. No wonder Beisha she said that she was from the dirty race. She had reached the pinnacle of this realm. Even Luo Bing and the others didn't understand at first and only realized what she meant when they saw her smile. Young Master Wu Ji's expression sank. He pointed at Long Chen, wanting to say something but unable to think of anything to say. He then left with his people, quickly being drowned out in the crowd. Watching him leave, everyone laughed as if they had won. As for Long Chen, he irritably shook off Lu Mingxuan's arms. Lu Mingxuan laughed. A man should be magnanimous. I heard that anger isn't very good for certain parts of a man. You should be careful of this. Seeing his disdainful gaze, Lu Mingxuan laughed and said. I heard that the seven emotions are connected to the five organs. Anger hurts the liver. Were you thinking of something else? How dirty-minded. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. She had clearly been the one to wink and intentionally make people think of that dirty thing. Yet now she acted innocent and pure. It's Churen, exclaimed Luo Xue suddenly. What? Luo Xue looked into the crowd. Just now. I was keeping an eye on young master Wuji, but I still lost track of him. But I did see a woman by his side talking to Chu Ren. I'm sure of it. Long Chen looked in the same direction. The crowd was too packed, so he wasn't able to see who was who at all. Clearly, Luo Xue had her own special abilities to see further. Even through this formation, she was able to see some things that other people were unable to see. Young Master Wuji is one of the Chu family's henchmen, asked Bei Shishi, a bit astonished. 